Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of the vlog. Well, we have a lot to be getting on with today, so we are not gonna waste any time. We're just gonna get straight on with it, so let's go. So if you remember from last week's episode, we had all of this here to sort out. Um, well, what we're gonna do, we need to, first of all, empty out the van, and then we're gonna take it outside because we need to bolt the tank down. Now that we've got the tank in place, we need to bolt the frame down. And then once we bolt the frame down, we'll then be able to assemble it, put a tank in, blah, 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 and all the rest of it and get all, everything sorted. So uh, first thing, van out. Okay, so lots of stuff has been happening. So we've got the tank in now. So it's, the frame is bolted down to the ground. So we've got three on the front, a couple on the side. And we've got three on the back here as well. We've just finished bolting that one in place. So you can see our three bolts. And then underneath the van, we've got like a run like this. that goes along the length as well underneath. And that's clamping the whole thing together at the back and at the front, ensuring that this tank is not gonna go. And for all those window cleaners out there who are just strapping their vans down using these little toe eyes, that's not a good thing to do. These, these things, they are holding by this one screw, which is basically that. See that? That's what they are. So when this is full, this is a 500 litre tank. When this is full, that's half a ton of water. And if you have a head on crash, this thing is gonna topple forward and crush you. So if you've got an ounce of sense, you'll get your tank bolted down properly. And uh, that way you're gonna protect yourself in the event of any incidents. Right, okay, so that's that in place now. And um, what we've decided to do with the battery box is we're gonna fit the battery box here because with this now in the way, and I'll put the seat up, I'll show you. So the seat, you can see it just little nice little gap there that's just what you need um, so with this here there's really nothing here that's going to be of any use to anyone other than the fact that uh, you want to check and test the battery so we're going to put the battery here because um, it fits really nicely in this area here and then that means that we don't have to worry about the back here all this will be clear for the back etc and also it means that we'll have access to our panel so what we're going to do we're going to put our two panels here the pumps are going to go down here and then our water run is going to come around here into the pumps and then back out into our little trolley jack here right so the next thing we need to do is to put the frames in uh that's these things here we get these two in place get them bolted in and then we'll be ready to put our frames Okay, so we've got the tank in place now. Now we're going to start assembling the electrics and electronics, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the pumps. We've got these frames that I managed to salvage, but they're very flimsy. So what I've done is I've put a block of wood behind it to give it some rigidity. That fits perfectly in between these gaps here. And we're going to screw the pump to the bottom and then we're going to drill out the top and screw them into place, okay? So we've got two pumps that are gonna go in here, so they'll go just like that, side by side, and then uh, we'll probably give them a little bit more space like that. That's it, they'll go just like that, and then they'll hang on the bottom over there. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now, 
we need to put the controllers so these control the pump and the speed we've got our pumps in place now we were going to put this panel up there but um, we're now just going to pull it all on the same piece of metal and that way it's um, all on the same panel and because uh, this is quite flimsy as well I would have to brace it and we don't want to do that so if we add uh, another another bit on there that should be enough so what we'll do is we'll mount these like that so they're above each pump and then that should should do it so we'll take them apart because you can take the tops off and then mount the backs and then we'll continue to do that Okay, so we have now plumbed up our tank. So we've got our water inlet into our strainer. And then that have a T-bar here that goes into our first pump. And then this is the outlet to our, our reel. So what I wanna do is just measure up because I may need to get another length. So I'm gonna get the reel, stick it into place and just see where it comes, what position it comes in and then we'll work out whether or not we can get away with this or whether we'll need some more. Okay, so we've got all our pumps and everything is in place now. Everything is all wired up. We can see there, just gotta get our, roll, our, our reels in place. And on the side here, we've got our battery box. That's now in place and situated. So uh, we just got to wire up our battery and I need to go and get some wires for that. But in the meantime, we can get this car off the ramps because we've now finished with it. Van, sorry, get the van off the ramps and we can get it in the garage and finish up the uh, last bits. Right, okay, so the doors have just been delivered and I must say these doors look fantastic. It was definitely the right decision to get them done. They have come up perfect. Uh, very impressed. Very, very impressed. So that's the door that had all the dent down the bottom. Hard to see in this light, but it is a million times, well, it's fixed. Not a million times better, it's fixed. So that's the driver's one with the most damage. And then this is the other door that had the um, split, do you remember? And then I did my feeble attempt of uh, what we call a uh, slim shady body body work but yeah that looks much better right let's get these back on the van okay so we're gonna fit the doors back on the van as you can see we've fitted the reel in here now so they're all sorted and ready to go uh, we just need to put the ends on them here to connect them to the hoses and they went on quite well and they're bolted to the ground we've got all, all our pumps and controllers in place so this one is for the top reel that one is for the bottom reel we've got all our plumbing in and here is our space for everything else and what we probably will do is put a piece of wood on the floor here just to stop anything from rolling into the pumps so though these pumps are quite hardy we want to make sure that they remain that way as well so we'll fit this door first and then we'll fit this one then we have to put the wiring into that one so we'll do that now And that is it. The van is now completed. So we managed to get the graphics on the side of it as well. Um, they need to be done again because they didn't go on as well as planned. But take a look at the back. You can see the door is now much better. All done and painted. Let's show you what it looks like inside. So inside we have our basically brush and twin reel system and then we've got our twin pumps we've uh, checked them all they're all siphoned they're all working properly and pumping water hence the reason why it's a little wet as we were doing a test so it's nice and compact in here everything is functional and it has enough space 
to do what he needs to do. So like I said, we've got the pumps at the back and the controllers where it's accessible. Um, when it's actually working, all you need to have one door open so you can have that door open and operate from that side, which makes it nice and convenient. On this side here, we have our leisure battery, which powers the whole system. And of course, this is where it fills up with water as well. Now, the good thing about the coral is, is that the seats drop down like that. So you can use that for additional storage space if you need. Um, he won't be doing that, but um, you can see how versatile this van is. So yeah, all done and dusted. So another project brought to an end. Okay, so end of another project. Did we come in on budget or not? Yes, we did, but we will go through that in another episode. I've still got to service this now, um, so it needs to go out and earn its uh, crust, and, and then we'll be servicing it in a very near future. And on that episode, we'll be going through the numbers, but we did come in on budget, which is perfect, and we were able to actually install some additional items in the back. So the twin reel that you saw there, that was a, a Brucey bonus because of the fact that we were able to get it in on budget. So next episode, we'll be going back to the Q5. We've got to get the Q5 back on the road and get it through its MLT. So that will be our next uh, vehicle that we'll be dealing with. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe down here. Click on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever we release a new video and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of video. So we thank you for viewing this and we will see you midweek.